Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Microsoft Rewards Punch Card Guide. Hey, thanks everybody for waiting so patiently for this one to come out. This is going to be the January monthly bonus round punch card that we're going to work on today. This is for 2,000 rewards points, and we've got nine days left to complete it from today. There was a certain portion that we couldn't complete until today, and that was all revolving around this other punch card, the Gamer Score Challenge Plus. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. So now that the, both punch cards are available and working, we can do everything in the January monthly bonus round. Along the way, we'll finish up the rewards weekly set. You'll want to make sure that you complete 50 Bing searches in order to unlock that one. And we'll also earn these 50 points for achieve more, earn more. So we're going to work on everything at the top here basically today, but the focus is the January monthly bonus round. I do believe this is US and maybe UK only, and that's because it's another one of these sweepstakes that uh, we'll get, get some sweepstakes entries for. So the first task that we need to do is basically get started and run five searches on Bing. Again, like it says, you can do this on any device. You have to do it for five different days. Task number two is to complete three of your daily sets. If you're not familiar with the daily set, I'm assuming most people are, but if you're not familiar with the daily set, you can do that on account.microsoft.com slash rewards. And you can actually do it right here from your Xbox if you prefer. I usually end up doing it using another device, but anyway, you can do it from your Xbox. And basically you just scroll down a little bit on this page and it is these three items right here where it says daily set. You've got a link, you've got a quiz, and then they've started doing these sort of 50-50 things for the third one. All right, so moving on, task number three is to earn three achievements in an Xbox One game. We're going to work on that a little bit later in the video. That's going to be the main thing we focus on. Task number four, this is the one we were waiting for January 6th on, is the starting out the 10,000 rewards punch card. So if you go to the Gamer Score Challenge Plus card here that's worth 10,000 rewards points, all you need to do is go ahead and activate your punch card right here. So click on this first link make sure this this one gets activated and you'll want to do that as soon as possible so that you can go ahead and start earning the 10,000 points. We're going to do a separate video where we talk just about uh, recommended games for that. So stay tuned for that one. Continuing on, uh, we'll need to click on task four after we activate that punch card to get the check mark. So let's do that now. Now that we've activated the punch card, it should be green. We should have a check mark there for task number four finally. And task number five is to complete this quiz on your Xbox. I don't believe you can do this in any other way. So we're gonna fast forward through the quiz here. You can watch my answers if you want to and see which ones I got right. I didn't get all of them right. I got a few wrong, but uh, that's all right. All you need to do is actually complete the quiz. And make sure when you finish, when you actually get all of your points for the quiz, and you've answered all 10 of the questions, that you choose Exit Quiz, and that will take you back here, and you'll have a check mark on number five. Claiming your prizes, we'll do that at the very end after we do all of the achievements. So the thing we're gonna focus on now is earning those three achievements that we need in an Xbox One game. This is gonna be part six of my full throttle remastered series that we've been working on over the last few weeks. We're going to link to parts one through five in the description if you need those. You can go back and grab all of those achievements that we earned earlier on. If you want to check your achievement progress, you should be at 11 out of 40 or 240 gamer score at this moment. And if you're wondering, yes, the achievements we're about to earn will count towards the 10,000, so that's cool. All right, so we're gonna go up to the upper right, click on load, and then choose our save file for the gas tower gate where we left off in part five. And we're gonna earn the next three achievements here. So here we are back at the gas tower gate. Let's go inside. And we're gonna unlock two achievements pretty quickly here. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the ladder here and we're gonna use our hand and just after we do that, we're gonna go back behind these sort of pipe looking things back in the back, in the background and hide behind them because some guys are gonna come up on this flying machine and we need them to not see us and not know that we're here. So we're gonna set off an alarm by touching the ladder. So click on the ladder, use your hand, that's gonna set the alarm off and then immediately get ready to point your cursor back behind those pipes there and as soon as the cursor reappears, click back there and have your character run back behind those pipes 
and he'll hide, hopefully. You want to get him a little bit out of the way. I'm, my shoulder's still peeking out, but that's that's fine. As long as you're mostly behind the pipes, you should be good. And if you do accidentally get caught, you know, maybe you're not fast enough, you should be able to go back in the gas tower and try this again. Where are you? Hey, I don't see anybody. Maybe nobody's there. But who set off the alarm before? And you can skip this cutscene if you want to. I didn't end up skipping this one just so you could kind of see who's coming in and the flying machine that they're on. But you can hold down B to skip uh, this cutscene if you want to. So what we're going to do, we need to fill up our gas tank with some gas from this flying machine. We would have seen him running from the air. So we will do that in just a second after we get our first achievement. Let's go up and get him. Okay, so there's our first of three achievements. Annoyed Floyd, hiding from Floyd, so that's done. All right, now we're gonna go down to their gas tank and click on the gas cap and then press our hand. We're gonna flip the gas cap up so that we can steal some of that gas that we need. Now we're going to click the right bumper and keep clicking it until you get to your hose that you should have in your inventory and then click on the gas cap to put the hose in there. Now we want to hit the right bumper again and get this accordion looking thing, which is actually our gas can, and click that on the hose and he will drop it onto the ground. Now we're gonna click on the hose one more time and use our mouth to start siphoning out the gas and putting it into our gas can. And we'll get the, okay, I'll put my lips on that achievement. Get it. Where? Now the rest of this is automatic. These are all cutscenes that are happening. You can hold down B to skip all of these. And we just need to work on getting our third and final achievement. So go over to the left side of the screen to leave Moe's shop. And we're going to head up to the junkyard now, which this will be the first time we're heading over to the junkyard. We'll grab our third achievement up that way. So the junkyard is at the upper left where the arrow is now, so you'll click up there to send your character up that away. And on the entrance door, there's a spot where we can lock it, so we wanna do that now. We're gonna hit the right bumper and cycle over to our lock, and then click there, sort of at the base of the garage door looking thing, and we'll lock up that door. Now we wanna go inside the junkyard via this chain, so click on the chain and click on your hand and you'll climb the chain and get over the wall. Got some good sneaky Mission Impossible style music going here. All right, so here we are in the junkyard. Click down into the main area of the junkyard and your character will jump down there and start walking along inside. Now we're gonna keep clicking over to the right to move him over to that side of the junkyard and there's a dog we need to dispatch with over here. So click the right arrow to keep going further over to the right. Now the blue car that's closest, we're going to put the meat on there. So you hit your right bumper, select the meat and click on the car. He puts it into the car and the dog jumps in there. Now we're gonna exit left and we're going to lift that car up off the ground. And in order to do that, we're gonna go up high to the right to the crane that's up there. So click up in that vicinity and he should climb up into the, into the control room for the crane. And we've got some strange controls on the crane. Hopefully you can make it work. Uh, you're gonna hit your right stick and then press A to power the magnet on. And then when you wanna hit your right stick over to the left a couple of times to switch over to not the move magnet section, but the lift magnet. So I'm still on the middle section here. I need to move over to the left, so right stick over one more. All right, now we're gonna go down. So we're gonna press our left stick down a few times to pick up the car and engage the magnet. And now we're gonna move our left stick up to raise the car up off the ground. When you see that save icon come up on screen, you should be good. So press B to exit the controls. And we're gonna go back down and click on the main section of the junkyard again. So he'll leave the crane. And the dog is not gonna be a problem for us anymore. So now we can steal the forks that we need to repair our bike. 
So keep walking over to the left, and there's a junkyard pile that is underneath the light on the left side. Click on that, and then click your hand, and you will grab the forks that you need. And that is basically everything we need to get our third achievement. So there it is, right in the junk. We've collected the forks from the junkyard. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute. There are a few more cutscenes here, and you can skip all of these by holding down the B button if you want to, to save a little bit of time. So you'll see me doing that. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you, what's this picture of? So I think about four yeah, cutscenes to skip at this time. No, it was five. All right. And then as soon as he parks in this area back by Moe's shop with his all nice, nicely fixed up motorcycle, we'll click to get off of the motorcycle. And then let's go ahead and make a save slot for next time. So hold down the start button and go up to save, and click on that. And then we're gonna replace our gas tower save with this one. And this one's gonna be called Melon Weed. So we're at 28% at this point, and that's where we'll pick back up next time in part seven. So, now we can hop over to the Microsoft Rewards app and start collecting all of these points. So, you can go down to task number three at this time and click on that, since you will have earned three achievements. And we'll go back to the January monthly bonus round punch card one more time, and we should have check marks on everything at this point, except for the very last thing, which is claim your prizes. So click here to claim the prizes. And this screen's a little odd because you don't immediately see the free entries available on this screen. I, I'm always a little put off by that, but generally a few days later, you'll see those pop up if you go to your account.microsoft.com slash rewards, you should see them showing up there. So we've got all of our check marks at this point on the January monthly bonus round. So you can see we've got the 2000. We can also click on achieve more, earn more to grab those 50 points since we earned an achievement today. And let's go to the rewards weekly set. This is gonna have three steps to it, but we've pretty much already done all the requirements for it. The first one is just to click on that first link and then you can press B and hop right back over to the rewards app. The second part is to earn three achievements, which we just did. So let's click on that to earn those points as well. And then, like I said at the beginning, 50 searches on Bing. So you wanna make sure you run those if you haven't already. And you'll be able to complete this punch card fully as well. So that one's done and we've got our three green checks. Great. And then the only thing left on the top here is the Gamer Score Challenge Plus. Like I said, I'll have another video coming out either today or tomorrow with some recommended games that you can use to work towards those 10,000, maybe knock out all, all 10,000 possibly. But you can see that we earned 45 Gamer Score, so that, that lower uh, part of the punch card there is showing that we've got 45 out of 10,000 already today just by earning those three achievements in full throttle. So stay tuned for another guide on the 10,000 Gamer Score punch card. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.